Hi there, it's uh, Roy Fisher from protopic.co.uk This is a, a prototype for a customer for a railway turntable controller um, If I could just get the power switched on you, thank you So this horrible little red thing um, is uh, supposed to be obviously a railway turntable Okay. So when you first switch it on, what it's doing is it sampling the signal here on an infrared brake beam detector so to get it to switch off, it's just going to do that until it finds the home position so it knows where it is at the very beginning, I'm just going to switch it off by breaking the beam so it stops the, uh, the motor from running and so what we've got here, we've got this controlled by a Sparkfun Pro Micro 5 volt 16 MHz uh, processor and an Easy Driver stepper motorboard okay and obviously to try and fit it on, all onto one board was too much so I made a big board for that one and we've got ribbon cable coming out to the actual controller board itself which is a bit a bit squeezy but it's a prototype okay so what you've got in here is a rotary encoder as you can see that the actual red disc is turning if I go left and right with that so that's to give you position for presets on your turntable for different uh, railway track links coming in and on here also obviously as well we've got a, a potentiometer for the speed control normally I think you'd want it quite slow but we've got it so you can speed it up or slow it down or whatever to, to whatever you desire um, and we've also on here as well we've got so we've got six presets so this this will actually um, go to six different positions and I'll also save it on to the internal EEPROM of the Sparkfun Micro so the next time you switch it on it remembers those positions, you don't have to reprogram it etc so if I set up a position, uh, the green button here is the setup button and these are the preset buttons so I think it's preset 1 to 5 and 6 here couldn't fit it all in a row so there we go, we're in two columns so if I press the green button, green button lights and I set, say, we'll just turn it a few a few bits here, so this is a 12 step rotary encoder and then set that to preset 1 and it will flash, I think it's 5 or 6 times and go off, so that's now set on there if I now set preset 2, I'll turn it a wee bit more you can see that turning and then preset 2 turn it a bit more <coughs> turn it a wee bit more this time ok and preset 3 and then turn it some more so this will be obviously setting up your, your turntable for the different tracks that you've got attached to it set that to there and turn it some more clockwise set number 5 and on number 6 what I'll do is I'll actually turn it the opposite direction so you can see that it works both ways ok so remember this has started off with the brake beam detector so wherever you place that you would normally have something like a, a, a metal tab or plastic tab or something that's going to break that beam as it first uh, starts up and starts turning clockwise it will get to wherever that is to give it an, an origin for the step count ok so now we've got these set up so if I press 1 it's going to go to position 1 if I press 2 position 2 position 3 position 4 position 5 and it should go opposite way for position 6 which it's doing ok so, and it's quite a long one that one, it's turning quite a distance to get back to there and that is basically that um, what we found on here was because we've got limited I.O uh, but I want to use a funky little board, uh, not a full size board uh, so far, so you know, once it's went from prototype into production or whatever you can have a much smaller kind of enclosure or whatever um, we didn't have enough I.O for the seven buttons that's on here so what we've done is using one analog input port we've created a resistor ladder network so what you can do with that you've got five volts you've got ground 
and you've got, I th think we use 10k resistors, so we've got all our 10k resistors across here, across each button. So when you press the button, it's like a voltage divider, you'll get a different number coming into the analog value. And I think we had a, a sort of, uh, uh, around about 150 uh, counts per button, so it was plenty to differentiate between each button press. <coughs> so what you do is you read the analog input, you grab the value and you check it against the button values that you've set for, for these things. Um, so that was quite funky, so what we're going to do on our learn.protopic.co.uk is show in more detail, obviously we're going to, what we're going to do is show um, more pictures of these things and a wiring diagram, a schematic and also information about how ladder logic works on an analog input, how, the, how we get the easy driver stepper motor to work from here using step and direction pins, um, how to work the rotary encoder and how to use a pot for a speed controller and all different bits and bobs like that. Um, so that will all be on uh, learn.protopic.co.uk fairly shortly and I think that's the conclusion. Thank you.